It's week number two of Feeding Farmers in the Field. We are in Van Wert County on the farm of the Whitler family. Joining me is Jason. Jason, we walked a few fields. It's, it's tacky, but you said up until last night, you got the chance to get some planting done. Give us a quick update. What does the farm look like and what's moisture look like at this point? Yes, so we started Monday night and started planting yesterday too. Just got dry enough for us to start to get into the fields. Then we got three tenths of rain here last night. So uh, today is not going to be a good drying day. So hopefully another day or two if we don't get any more rain. But the forecast isn't looking too good for us. But we're just hoping we can start missing some here. We are literally the midpoint of May. Normally by now, what kind of crop would you like to have already in the ground? Um, at this time of year, it's nice to be finishing up or even side dressing, having stuff done. But with the weather these days, it goes back and forth and we're faced with a bunch of challenges and our windows keep getting smaller to get things done. So... So we went out and looked at some of the field. I got to kicking in the ground and I was like, well, did you run anhydrous in here? And you said, no, there's beans planted. So that's part of what you got in. Popcorn yet to go. And the wheat looks really good. Yes, the wheat is really taking off. It loves this rain. Hopefully that gives us some hope for a good crop for that this year. Um, we got, yeah, the moisture was perfect for the corn and beans when we put it in. So we hope for good stuff there. Also, diversification is key in agriculture these days. You have some livestock, a couple hog barns. How long have you had hogs here on the farm? Uh, we have had hogs. I put the first one up about seven years ago, and then I uh, figured I might as well do another one. So a couple years ago, I did the second one, and that helps to keep things going all winter, keeps me busy, and uh, just keeps everything going. And if that wasn't enough, you also have an off-farm excavation business that keeps you busy. Yep. Whenever I'm not doing all that stuff, I'm busy every single day doing excavation work. Um, between that and the hogs, the weather and everything all times out. So I can drop everything for planting and get back into excavating when we're all done. So works out pretty good. When did you know you wanted to farm every day? As a little kid, it was every day, that's all I thought about. Uh, I was never the biggest school person. So every, every day when I got home from school, I just wanted to go out and uh, help dad farm. So I was 10, 12 years old in a tractor doing everything and just started out young. You're embracing not only some of the conservation programs with cover crops, but it sounds like uh, you seem to get along well with the computer and the technology as well. Yes, we... Uh, we use cover crops and everything, and then we got the GPS, and we uh, um, do the uh, we do some hog manure with that stuff, and we kind of take the soil results and see where we need to go with all that, and put it on the computer and help everything out there. Isn't it interesting? We used to broadcast and fertilize the entire field because we knew the field needed it, but with today's technology, we can actually put more where it needs it and less where it doesn't, and save some budget, increase production, good water. It's just amazing that technology has helped us do so many cool things. Yes, technology has gotten crazy. The Even the planning planners, there's all kinds of different options for that. Uh, as far as seed rate, tells you all the moisture, and it's just it's just endless how much money you can spend on them. And what, what we know, that all translate to the computer and we can kind of see where our problem areas are at. And then that way we know what to do better for next year. If it's a normal year, when do you think you'll start harvesting? Um, we hope the last week of September um, is a good time. But this year, that's going to be a little later, which hopefully it all works out. We'll get some good rain through the summer, make everything grow good and planning late isn't necessarily the end of the world but we make it work and hope for the best stay the course is what i continue to hear because there's some guys who would tell you the best field they ever had was a june plant it wasn't intentional but sometimes mother nature just seems to take care of it and we'll see if this is one of those years so be safe for the rest of planting season yep we will do you guys too Jason Whitler, my guest, we're at Whitler Farms in Van Wert County for week number two, Feeding Farmers in the Shop.